Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to do a free criminal background check in Wisconsin. Uh, to get started, visit wisconsinpublicrecords.org. Uh, there should be a link in the description you can click on or just type it into your browser. On the home page, you'll find quite a few public databases that you can use when it comes to background checking. But in this video, we're going to focus specifically on criminal related information and on uh, the free databases you have in the state of Wisconsin to access that information. Uh, so to get started, hover over other records and select inmate search. And uh, so the way a criminal record uh, begins typically is uh, when an arrest happens. So it could be the sheriff's department, it could be the city police officer arrests somebody and then they get charged with a crime. And then they typically will get taken to a jail and they get booked, their fingerprints get taken and they get a mugshot and then they will either post bail, sometimes they'll be released, sometimes they'll have to spend time in jail. Uh, but in each situation, they will eventually have to see a judge. And so if you wanted to take a look at that initial report, which would be the arrest report, uh, some counties and typically the local sheriff's department uh, uh, runs these databases, they're going to always be different. Some of them will keep records for a very long time. Some of them won't keep it for a long time. Some of them don't even have a database. So I just wanted to show you uh, an example of one here. So you got a mugshot, you have your uh, identifying information, and then of course you have uh, the, uh, the, the charges. And uh, this information, again, uh, is is free and it just uh, will depend on the county and the sheriff's department typically how they display it how it's researched again mugshot purse some information and then you have your uh, charges here or the offense and then like I said some don't really give you a good list like in this situation they just give you an active list there's really not much information so if you need more information if the database is not complete um, or if there isn't one, you could also just make a request to the actual sheriff's department using like a public record data or public record act. Uh, each state has one where you can request uh, information um, from the authorities if it's considered public records. So uh, what happens next? They get to uh, they they have to go to court. So let's hover over other records and click on court information. And you have um, anything from the Supreme Court to the Municipal Court here. And uh, each court deals with like a specific type of a situation. So as you can see, probate will do probate in states. Municipal will do traffic, uh, first time DUI, things like that. And then, of course, circuit will pretty much does everything else. You have your higher level cr crimes, lower level crimes. And I'm assuming uh, DU DUIs that are second time DUIs. So there isn't a database for the municipal uh, courts. These would be like s local city courts. You could actually stop by a lot of times what they'll have is an on-site public terminal that you can use if you are interested in these types of records. And you can request to, it's pretty much like a computer setup that you can use. Um, I know most people are not even aware these things exist, but they exist <laughs> and uh, you can come in and just research court records right uh, right on location. Uh, but majority of the things will, will happen here. If you're looking for criminal information in particular, right here you got your felonies, anything from higher uh, end crimes to lower end crimes uh, will be solved at the circuit level. And there is a database for this. So I just clicked on that just gonna agree to a few things I'm just gonna select the random name here just to show you how it works now you can go you can go county by county or you can do statewide I'm just gonna keep it statewide here and you want to fill in as much information as possible it will help you narrow down uh, just because there's so many files okay see I gotta add something here and all right, let's just add our first name then. Excuse me. <laughs> All right, so here we go. You have, you, there's still so many <laughs> here. Uh, so you try to filter it down as much as you can or else you're going to be going through uh, quite a few uh, cases here. 
So let's uh, look at one of these um, one of these cases here. Um, you uh, <clears throat> you have um, your case summary here. You have your your uh, information regarding the individual. Uh, you have your charges uh, right here, for instance. Nothing too ser crazy. Uh, the citations, and then of course the court record, total receivables. Um, so you have a, this is a quite uh, a pretty detailed page here, and as you have noticed, I did not, I did not have to uh, take a credit card. I didn't have to make a payment on anything. So it's um, uh, you got very detailed information here, and um, and it's absolutely free. And like I said, every single criminal case will have to go through the court system. So it's a great tool and uh, it's free of charge. So um, wh what happens after the court? Well, you have a guilty or no guilty verdict and uh, sometimes a person just might have to pay a fine. Uh, sometimes they'll have to do some time. And so there is another database where you can find what happens to the person after the court. Uh, so anybody serving over 12 months is going to be doing that at a prison. If it's under 12 months, typically it's going to be at a local jail. So if it's just like a few weeks, a few months, it's going to, he's, they're just going to keep him at the county and just, uh, put him back into a, a jail there at the sheriff's, uh, that's typically managed by the local sheriff's department. So you can, uh, you can research that information there, but for like more serious offenses, they're going to get more crime. If they're or uh, more time, excuse me, if they are found guilty. So you want to uh, check the Wisconsin Department of Corrections system. And uh, let's see what we get here, uh, just to show you how this will work. So I'm just gonna again select just a random person here. As you can see, you get a picture. You have your uh, description of the individual. Uh, there's different tabs here on top. You have your status, uh, address, if there's one available. You have uh, the movement, so uh, where they start and pretty much where they are currently at now. Uh, you have your court cases, for instance, and it looks like it actually goes it goes pretty far back so like th some of these some of these typical background checks will only go back like seven years ten years um, these using court records and, and like databases like this I mean as you can see like it goes all the way back to 1999 and I can actually click on this court case here and it will um, it will actually show me the whole court case here in detail which is that that's that goes pretty far back that was a long time ago so it's uh and then of course you have your photo set and again as you have noticed i didn't have to take a credit card there was no payment this database is absolutely free to use uh, another thing you want to also uh, look at is the sex offender registry particularly when it comes to uh, doing a um a criminal related background check so you you can do it by you can use a name search you can use an address search um, you have quite a few options uh, when it comes to doing that so again and this this is a statewide database and again it's it's also free to use another thing to consider is now, now this is a paid tool but I, I'm, I'll mention it you might want to add it to your uh, research arsenal and uh, what this is, is it's a name search and it looks at public records. Uh, it looks at court records. It looks like it looks at real estate information. It looks at financial information, things like bankruptcies, maybe financial lawsuits, things like that. Uh, arrest information, uh, criminal records, also private databases like cell phone information, previous addresses, things like that. And it doesn't just look within the state of Wisconsin. It goes outside the state. So it gives you more of a nationwide look at someone's uh, historic past. And then it compile, compiles all this information into a single search system. So you're able to literally almost instantaneously, it doesn't take too long uh, to access the information that uh, is w w in this system. 
and uh, why it's great well first of all is it saves you a lot of time the, uh, another thing is if somebody's living in Wisconsin now but maybe they have a criminal past say in Virginia or Texas and they're living in Wisconsin now if you're just researching at the county level or the state level in Wisconsin you're not going to see what happened in Virginia or Texas so it's a, it's a great tool to kind of make sure you're more informed helps you uh, cover more uh, more ground uh, in in very little time. So it's a it's a great tool. In addition to obviously very great local resources from the state of Wisconsin. So um, <clears throat> check it out. See if uh, it's something of interest. So with that said, uh, WisconsinPublicRecords.org. Uh, come on down and get started on your free criminal background check in the state of Wisconsin. Thank you.